And welcome back, guys. Uh, we are here at Carta Magica, HeroClix Road to the World 2014. We're finally here. The finals. As always, I'm Vince, Trader Armor on the Realms, and with me, the one, the only, the person I have been talking about all weekend long in nothing but positive tones, Judge Jeff. Judge Jeff. Vince is just trying to suck up to me because he betrayed my, my friendship and trust Whoa. last night, but, you know. Whoa, whatever. where did that come from? Oh, a little Gate Guardian handoff to <laughs> someone else, but, you know. Jeff is going to take you through our teams. We have uh, a good matchup between Patricia and her Iron Pharaoh team and Nick and the Wizard. So, Nick, as you may have seen a couple times today from watching earlier games, is playing Wizard as Parala uh, well, Paralyzed. No. Possessed by the Parallax Entity. Uh, Despotellus as Possessed by Adara. Bizarro with one token at 25 points. Uh, Scotty's Warbot. And Loki at the 30 point starting line from Fear Itself. Uh, he also has a utility belt. Fully stocked on Wizard. Patricia will be playing with Cerise. Uh, possessed by the Parallax Entity. Uh, Iron Pharaoh possessed with Ophidian. And Weasel, possessed with the Entity Entity. 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 There's an echo in here, I think. Um, she has an Entity Theme Team, and she also has the Green Power Battery, with Green Ring, Decoy, and the Crossbow. So those are our two teams starting off today. It looks like we're playing on the Apocalypse map again. Yes, it seems to be a favorite with Patricia. I know yesterday in the Sealed Qualifiers, she managed to pull a uh, 300-point Dark Seed, and he ran amok all through his hometown, and nobody seemed to be able to stop her. He rampaged all yeah. over that event. All day. I think uh, one of the things to note, especially with this map and being able to choose it, uh, one of the... <laughs> One of the interesting things to note about the map is that with uh, Iron Pharaoh and the Bird, the uh, multiple the evasion changes uh, has the potential to give a really good advantage. Yeah, definitely. And especially with some of the non-flying characters, it can really uh, mess up their plans. Makes it hard to get up and down and look for all those spots and with a wizard in that spot. He may have that difficulty, but the utility belt with an opportunity with a grappling hook could uh, save the day for him and make the big difference. Of course, uh, Patricia is going to be in the orange, Phoenix 5 dials again, and Nick is going to be back in the whites. I know Batman likes to wear white sometimes. Uh, is he allowed to wear white? Okay. Yeah, I know he had a white ring at one point. That's true. He is even the knight, right? Even then, it was kind of a dark white. Yeah. I'm sorry. Pat says hello. <laughs> yep. So, uh, since we have a quick second, I'm just going to verify with uh, Pat. Did we end up putting those? Uh, yeah. Those? Excellent. We have a dire wraith and a... So, we have a crystal? A Dire Wraith and a Ronin the Accuser? Yes. Oh, so those are up for you to check out on Facebook. We will have three more dials after this match ready to uh, check because we didn't want the stream to go down when you looked at them. Yeah. That's it, true. It's the one Jeff and I have been dying, uh, to, yeah, dying to tie Honestly, about. all weekend, I, like, I'm like, I really want to tell everybody about this, but I can't, so I'm just going to go cry in a corner and talk to Vince silently. Yep. We've been making eyes about it all weekend long. Um, <laughs> You guys are gonna, you're gonna be excited. You're gonna be, you can go through an emotional roller coaster. I was excited at first, then I got angry that I don't have it now. Then I got excited that I'll get it later. Then I got angry that I'll need to get it later, which might be difficult. Um, yes. You yes. just have to let it go. Yeah. No, I'm never gonna let it go. Oh, never gonna give wow. it up. That's a different song. Too. Did we just rickroll our audience? We did. We hey, did. wow. Everyone stopped listening. Oh. The viewership following. Um, I think we... 
well, tell you what, Jeff. Well, we have this quick moment. Obviously, you've been judging for the uh, the entire event up to this point. Uh, have you seen any interesting games? Any uh, any cool stories you can tell? Um, well, you know, it's always the the unique teams that kind of stand out for me. Like, there's we've seen a lot of pharaohs. We've seen a lot of uh, Bizarro. I've seen a lot of entities. Uh -huh. um, Seeing Duke and seeing him placed in the top eight today was uh, pretty great. Um, you, well, you were the one who, came, who helped create that team, weren't you, last night? Uh, well, we were, Ish. We were talking I mean, it, to it, him. It was collaborative. I think it was this. just where we were talking about all the possibilities and what what is cutting edge. And he's like, you know what? Let's just play for fun. And I'm like, yeah. you know. So playing for fun is what some people like to do with this game. They don't need to use an entity Whoa. or... Whoa. Whoa. If you want to go have fun, have somewhere else. This is Heroclix. <laughs> Some people play for fun anyways. I don't know. Maybe I'm... I just, I just yeah. like envisioning the battles in my mind. No, but uh, yeah, the, the dupe was really good. And it combined one of the things that I loved seeing the most was disintegration beams. Yeah. Uh, it really, like, just... You would see the person tear up on the other side of the table just a little bit, like not actual physical tears, but on the inside they were like, "No!" and their whole everything just went downhill from there for them. So just that one item being able to destroy an entire resource. Color commentating with Jeff and learning stuff about him. <laughs> it was just good to see uh, a refreshing way to be able to still tip the scales yep. and not be overpowered by. Uh, one character with yeah, a like really when you, when you see the uh, the unexpected, the the not the not usuals, and then do well. Yes, yes, exactly. It, it's one thing to have the team show up and then yeah, have it crash and it's like oh, right, that's why. Yeah. But when, when it wins, it's not bad. Yeah. Nobody played uh, twelve Zuvembis. I was a little surprised. It was with that. weird. You know where I was surprised that I didn't see the other Solomon Grundy. I didn't see the Fast Forces Solomon Grundy. Yeah. No. Not once. He would be more for one of those fun games. <laughs> All right, so we're getting the handshake. They are starting. I'm running out of things to throw at people. I need more. <laughs> Next time you comment with me, that's your job. You're gonna bring stuff that we can throw at people. We could uh, go get some of those bouncy balls like they have in the ball pit at IKEA. Have you been Are to you? IKEA before? I have. I, I have kids. I have. And when they go in there, that's a deep pit. It's a deep pit of balls. Crazy. Um, yeah. So uh, obviously, the, the weekend's been a lot of fun. I uh, I'm getting a little tired. Uh, yes, I gotta go home and yes. rest the voice after this. Yeah, I gotta drive all the way home right after this too. How long is your drive, by the way? Uh, it's about an hour. About an hour. So not too bad. I was telling people yesterday that it was really uh, really saddened actually, when I was checking uh, Facebook and HG Realm specifically, when people were talking about when they had to leave. And they go, oh yeah, I have to wake up early for Montreal to get there on time. And it was after I had to leave and I'm literally down the street. After we had to be I'm here. At, yeah. I'm just down the street. I just liked everyone that morning. <laughs> I find I'm more friendly when I'm tired. I don't know what's going on. Well, it's because you have a really bad starting point. Yes. You're ornery. Am I? Okay. I'll work on that. No, I won't. No. So, I'm just gonna... maybe we can get a, a look at it a little later. What? Oh! I... <laughs> <laughs> Eric was giving us some strange shirt uh, removal we, signals. We were getting whiskers earlier? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, we were just figuring out what the symbol was for Weasel. And uh, Eric has. I'm supposed some great... to be removing his shirt. Uh, Eric, Eric has very creative uh, ideas on how, on how to do that. Yeah, Gates. Yeah, Gates is a big hit. Zoidberg. The Zoidberg shuffle. So, leadership fail? So, uh, just so we can talk, so we're not adjusting our players, because the, the, there's a lot less volume going on here. So we're going to try a little be a little quieter when we have those type of conversations here. The uh, I'm sure that the mic will still pick it up. I'm not a techie, so <laughs> I've just been told. So if I'm wrong, it's their fault. 
and I will adjust the they category as required. But uh, do you do you see an advantage here? Do you do you, do you think the one has a statistical advantage? Do you, do you like one team's chances more? I think the map favors the Falcon, but I think the Wizard is is mitigates that. But I still think the Falcon has a slight edge on that one. Yeah, I think so too. But um, with the elevation two, you're going to get advantages for wizard and like all the uh, support bonuses from some of the other characters on this team. So that might play into a good advantage point too for. Yeah, one thing to note, of course, is the um, based on what we saw last game, and I wouldn't imagine that it's going to change. Is the crossbow construct is going to yep. be going on the iron fair because why do three damage when you can do five? Exactly. Um, I know that have the players at home been able to see the uh, custom sculpt for the Falcon? Yeah. No, we had mentioned it. Do, do, do you want to do you want to do a mention of that? Uh, hopefully, we can get a shot of it on camera later. But um, Patricia is using who is it? What is the sculpt? I don't even remember what it's it is. It's the world champion from the Star oh, yeah. yeah, it's the he's she's using the world the upper torso uh, propped up with a paper clip. Uh, to be the Falcon, so the arms spread out, and again, if we can get a shot of this later, I, I feel like some people may agree with me. If you've read the comic, I'm familiar with Saga, there is the, the main couple, they have a, a ghost babysitter who doesn't have a legs at all, uh, and some, some entrails are hanging out, much exactly like the paperclip does. So it looks like a nod to Saga, which is a really good new book. Not even that new anymore. You should check it out. So I'll put in the crossbow on Pharaoh. Yep. Totally expected that. Uh, you think you would have seen that coming after all these games? Well, we saw it coming. Nick Nick hasn't faced Patricia yet today because they, they both have to be the same. They're both going out. That that is definitely one reason I was relieved to see the fact that Neck didn't go up against Hellfire, or sorry, um, New Mutants again. Yes. Uh, he, I know he, I talked to him between rounds and he was hoping mm -hmm. that New Mutants would win because he's like, well, I, I know how to beat them now. Yeah. Uh, well, both, both of us have been to Wizard World uh, convention tournaments before. Yes. Did, I, when you went, did you end up seeing really, really similar teams in your rounds? I went in 2003, uh, so that would have been Cosmic Justice Days. It was the DC Worlds. Uh, that was back when they separated them between Worlds, or between uh, Marvel and DC. It, there wasn't a lot of one particular build. There was a lot of Nightwings. I remember Nightwing, lots, see Deathstroke, stuff like that. Um, but no, I, I feel like, and especially without resources and that magnitude of play at that point, you just didn't see it as much of the same team, which is a different way of looking at it now. I went, I, uh, mine, I went to uh, LA, uh, Wizard World LA, for the one just after Legacy dropped. Yep. For my first one, I was able to attend a couple of the regionals in uh, Monster's Den, uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, uh, and play those. I played the Fantastic Four release, the Legacy release, and the Armor Wars release. Okay. But uh, yeah, in Wizard World LA, I. I ran into a wall of Ultimate Thors. I played four games straight against Ultimate Thor. That... My justice serve just ate him alive every round. Yeah. Would have that been the days of con artist bombs? Or was that past then? I think it was past that because I think we were on the sign police at the time. Okay. Yes, um, as an actual interesting story from this event, mm -hmm. I ran into a player who was like, you look familiar, do you go to Gen Con very often? Oh, that's I right, like, I heard oh, this, yes. I, I was there last year. Last year was my first year at Gen Con. Mm -hmm. I had a great time playing Battle Royales. I didn't feel the need to do the world's competitive scene again, but um, he's like, I'm like, I mentioned that I had played in the worlds in 2003 and played second, and he said, oh, I remember you. I remember, and he remember he listed my team off, oh, yeah. and I was like, 
Yeah, I'm like, did what was, what was your team? Play? Um, it was a bit of uh, Legion abuse, Legion. a little wild card. Uh, so I had the the rookie founders. Uh, I had rookie Steel, rookie Green Lantern, right, right. Um, like token Bra or uh, Alfred, and then uh, Zatanna for for oh, Mystics. Oh, it was brutal. Alfred. It was so brutal. Um, Speaking of Legion, and I was really surprised. I was the only person that played anything close to that. Oh yeah, you, you, nobody you was using Green Lantern. I didn't see any ground Green Lanterns at all used in that term. Yeah, he was really popular back then. Yeah, John Stewart. Speaking of Legion, the uh, the funny story, of course, from last night's VIP game uh, was uh, we we did a, uh, a a single booster draft where we used a bunch of the gravity feed figures, and it just happened to be that Lightning Lad. Made it on the same team with Bilbo Baggins, yep. so Bilbo got a new ring and became a member of the Legion. Yep. For a game, flying around, and prop gun, and everyone. I, I could have sworn he would have learned from the first ring, but apparently that wasn't long enough. No. I, I heard you did pretty good with last night, though, didn't you, Jeff? In the uh, in the in that battle war? Uh, well, I placed in third. Um, my Firewing Pegasus managed to swoop in and take out it did. Uh, someone just in the nick of time to place me in third. Not, not just someone, myself. We going tiny? Oh, that's Despotels. Oh, that's Despotels? You have a yellow ring on your finger. You could just cough like a, a virus. <laughs> You're sick. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> We have a TK, I believe. Someone's chopping a tree down. Oh, a hammer. Oh, the warbot. It's, it's yeah. Scotty's warbot. The the pog. Yes. Yep. Moving in. Why don't you just <laughs> do the robot for us? Yeah. You do it. Do the robot. Yeah. Domi Origato. Wizard is using, I assume, hypersonic speed. Yep. I can't really imagine what else he would use. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess if you want to get all technical, but he's using the white power, which, we, power. which we determined, special power, which we determined was in Canada. Jazz fingers? Which in Canada we oh, determined we, we had to call it uh, 1,100 kilometers an hour. Okay. <laughs> After doing the quick calculation. Whiskers, uh, Weasel. I don't know why I'm calling him Whiskers, just because Eric's doing the Whiskers sign. Yeah, anyways, Weasel has been whizzed on. Can I say that? I'm sorry? Okay. You're sorry? Is that an apology for last night? Sure. Okay. sure. They, wait, does it repair our friendship? Mm, <laughs> it's going in the right direction. But. <laughs> Iron Man's on the game here. Iron Pharaoh. <laughs> the mask coming down yeah. on Iron Man. Bringing your hand over your face is the international sign of Iron Man, I'm told. This is my first I, I time to, uh, to be to on the side of it. And you, 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 yeah. It's a shame you're not, you're not getting it. Uh, you know what? We'll have to get Alex in for the last half of this. So, so you can he, see it. Hopefully, there's lots of shape change rules. Yes. I've, uh, that was assessment. good. <laughs> Prop gun failed. Right. Sorry, guys. Um, like we mentioned earlier in the game, because uh, uh, there aren't a lot of games going on right now, it's a little bit more quiet. So our voice is carrying way, way more than what we have. We've been having an, a healthy amount of ambient noise. And we're trying not to disrupt the players as much as we can. And... I feel bad when they fail a roll and then they hear us go, he failed. Yeah, just had uh, a side line person, just uh, wanted to double check. Bizarre only has the one token, we're playing him at the yes. 25 points. Yeah. So, I feel like I want to use my golfing voice. Really calm and soothing. But that seems counterintuitive to what I want to do. <laughs> Because <clears throat> it's too exciting. It is, it is to talk in a calm voice. Yeah. 
So have you uh, managed to snag any of the uh, con exclusives? Jeff, did you, uh, did you pick up any of the... Uh... I did get to play in a Battle Royale yesterday. Um, we all the players used Yu-Gi-Oh pieces, hmm. so it, it's kind of interesting. And there was a couple other battle royals as well. One where they were using all the Batman sixty six pieces. Did, so did you get that Gate were, Guardian? I, I hear many. good things. Um, no, Gate Guardian wasn't open in that match, but I, I did manage to open a Karibo, which was tons of fun. <laughs> you owned, I hate that thing so much. Oh, <laughs> the thing's got to go. <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic. The first it, time I ever played Alex, he said, "Oh, let me try this," and he, he brought. I want to say four, turtle catapult, four, and, yeah. four Karibos and the turtle catapult. Anyway, so I walked away on top of that one. Um, Karibo managed to explode on a blue eyes white dragon chase, but got oh, me a nice, lot of nice, points. Nice so pull. yeah, it was a good point pool. Uh, she's modeling. You sure? Yeah. Cerise. What her what her powers are? Oh, okay, whatever. So yes, I, I managed to get the uh, the DC World's Finest off of that game, which was yes. pleasing. Nice. Yes. Um, uh, of, 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 of this year's Conan exclusives, is that the one that you were most anticipating? Um, dupe. Dupe for me. Yeah, I think normally I, I'm a Marvel guy first, but I think I like both the duos this time. Yeah, um... I don't know how often I would play the Hulks. I'm not one to play with one big point character, you know, the style of my team. I like, I like playing the duos because, you know, uh, even if you're not playing the duo per se, that you're playing the two individual figures and yeah. have the option of. Yeah, that is always a good option. Just got a little bit of thinking going on here. This is weird being quiet. I mean, it's, it's uncomfortable. Oh. Um, Eric was just saying that I should try getting three world's finest. So, so I can you can play one as Hunt, Hunt, yeah. one as Power Girl, and one as the duo. There's been a few times where I've had three Daughters of the Dragons in my possession and was very much tempted to do that. I did not, which I'm glad and, and now. Now, now you don't that, have yeah, now oh, that I don't 11, have 11 attack. Oh, that will probably hit. Is that going to be uh, allowed to exist? Impervious? Failed Impervious. Three damage. Parallax is uh, selecting invincible? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of uh, con exclusives and some of the other teams I've seen over the weekend, mm -hmm. I did see uh, a team today, actually, of Solomon Grundy, the Super Air, not the Fast Forces, um, and Resurrection Man. Someone right there. Should we ask them to move it down one? Two inches? For the funnel? Yeah. Hey, Eric. <laughs> the, uh, the team of Solomon Grundy and Resurrection Man was kind of interesting for me. I enjoyed the fact that, hey, they both returned from the dead a lot. But it was quite tricky because also with Resurrection Man, you don't score points even if he's off the map. You only score points for him if everybody's KO'd. And we all know how tricky it is for Solomon Grundy to get KO'd. So, yeah. so he wasn't feeding points, that's for sure. Uh, there's no change out. Okay. Like, come come to Google Care. We can just see that one. There's another entire figure. It's got to go at least one full square. So we're just adjusting the so map adjusting. right now. We, we there's that one the character. Is, is evolving. I would have moved the table myself, but okay. That's only half of the figure. That's only half of the figure. Seriously, move the table. Move the table one inch. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We just noticed that uh, the uh, the HeroClix Road to Worlds is, is just carrying one figure. It hasn't been a big issue that section of the map, but we obviously want to see. It. That's good. That's good, guys. Thank you. Yep. It's dark again. 
that one. Oh, that's one. Uh, yeah, so now you can see. Uh, so Cerise is, uh, is still there. There was a Cerise on the there map this whole time. We weren't just trying to fool you. Wow, that stealth was really good. Yeah. She has stealth. <laughs> her, 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 no, her, her shape change dance was fantastic. So our players for uh, asking them to take a uh, quick uh, 10 second break from the game. We'll try to be as unintrusive as possible. So it's kind of interesting with this too, as I'm going to be going to Gen Con. I know uh, a few other players. We have uh, just about 30 minutes left in the game. Yeah. A few other players are going to Gen Con, so it'll be interesting to see that at least one of these people will be a Gen Con as well. Is not good. Yeah, I, uh, I, I think you're uh, planning to go for one of the, uh, the three-player team events? Yes. Uh, With two of our locals, uh, Steve, Steve, who's also uh, assisting judging this week, and yep. Asia, mm -hmm. uh, who, play, who uh, people remember from the street playing the Alpha Flight team. Yes, yes. I think she was the first game on, wasn't she? Cerise? Zero. Oh, oh, it's a backwards S. Backwards S. <laughs> ten? Oh, he's on click ten. Gotcha. Which is, since we're getting wonderful prompts. From Hypersonic. Uh, super strength. Yeah. Uh, super senses and close combat expert. But only an attack. Oh, shape change, sir. Yeah, only an attack on that one. That, uh, that actually is his worst attack number. What? Oh, but it is his fastest click. Mm. Fastest missile there is. <laughs> we have to move it down. <laughs> we have to move it down because we can see the figure of the logo. Yeah, it's fine. Sorry, we just had uh, Alex, who's uh, been very hands-on with the whole situation, just wanted to know why the, the map had altered a little bit. So, I flying believe, bird I believe that Falcon's oh, oh, avian bird flew. <laughs> oh, that would be Despotelis. Sound, sounds, Despotelis on the Falcon. Sounds like the Falcon is causing shenanigans and shooting. It was avian bird flu? <laughs> I, I said that as a joke. <laughs> That would be Despotel's attacking that would be the, the Falcon, I guess. Yeah. Needing a crit? I don't know. Uh, if memory serves, you can attack the Falcon. There's nothing to attack, is there? No, I don't believe there is, actually. This seems like wasted effort. Cerise? Pharaoh? Oh. Pharaoh got punched for three. Oh, wizard? Yeah. Wizards swam up the stream like a salmon. <laughs> That's clearly the only way I can interpret that symbol. And now Richie is writing in the snow. That's a Canadian reference, if I don't know. Yeah. No, I'm teasing Eric, but Eric actually made a really good symbol to let me know who, who that uh, wizard had moved in. To make that attack. But why let him get off the hook easy? Oh, I'm Feral. We're doing this with Feral? What happened to the mask? Okay, then what's the symbol for Sri? Oh, Cerise is the fist slightly elevated. There you go. Sorry. I didn't bring my level. I feel no, I feel like we I, should post no. pictures of all the this, this, click this is, sign language. This is must see stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I feel like we need a legend back here. If it's Eric doing it, then this is Iron Pharaoh. But if Alex is doing it, this. Yeah, yeah. For, for just Iron, saying this. Iron is good Pharaoh, for just the, go back to the mask. It's easy. 
Good thing Madame Mask isn't in this game. But. Sorry. One of the reasons, guys, why we were talking a little bit more about the um, the uh, side uh, camera activities is we are trying to let the players have the, their game without having our commentary or our side set interfere. Because the the goal is to have fun, the goal is to share it with you, but we don't want to interfere with the game, if at all possible. We've been really lucky that we've had a lot of ambient noise to cover us it, for the rest of the matches. But... Uh, as you as you probably have seen or witnessed in other events, the, when it comes to the finals, there there's a lot of attention and the noise tends to just disappear. Bizarro is on quick one now. Yep. So hypersonic super strength. Hypersonic plus one attack from where he was on quick ten and plus one defense. But, uh, the exact same click otherwise, though, right? Yeah. yeah. But the next one, we should be looking at a higher attack. Yes. So uh, next attack, uh, if uh, if we're planning that way, should be uh, a good attacking turn for Bizarre. If the opposition presents itself. <laughs> Wizard punching Iron Pharaoh. For three? Doing for three damage. Can we just get a quick uh, on uh, Wizard? Just doing a quick number check. I think it's possible. Then we might be on click three of click four. Yeah, click four. Wizard can use stealth if he used hypersonic speed during your last turn. So yeah, we're past his uh, the world at uh, 500 miles per hour for our southern friends, or 1,100 kilometers for us up here. And Pharaoh is at click seven. I Seven, the last click, just hang on. A theme team prop gone from the entity theme team. It's just used. And now look, he's using prop gone. Dice rolls fell oh, off no. the table. <laughs> oh no. So we just have a quick uh, judge ruling. Just uh, going to inquire real quick. Yeah. Yeah, we were just checking. I believe the power in question was support from the. Yes, batteries? no, but with. Um, Bizarre. With characters right there, yep. uh, it would be impossible for them to use support. Set. One of the benefits of the X-Men team ability, that you can yes. still be used when you're adjacent. I've actually had some people who were confused about that. They were suggesting that no healing is allowed. I, I think uh, Jeff is going to just do a quick double check on the uh, on the lantern's abilities. I think the judge is adding some wording to the uh, lantern the blah, blah, battery. Blah, blah, blah. The blah blah blah. Yeah, I, I, I didn't read that part. Yada yada yada. <laughs> you yada 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 over the best part. No, I mentioned the shrimp bisque. I mentioned the shrimp bisque. Maybe it was lobster. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. oh, the battery. The emotional spectrum. Uh, Will, if the power battery attached to a power ring and the constructs are all the same color, each opposing character may be given no more than one free action per turn. Is that what we're going? Oh. Wait, what's he doing? What's he doing? He's not now. Oh, no, he, he started with it. Are you suggesting they shouldn't have earlier? Mm -hmm. Was he earlier? I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't. I don't recall that happening. Yeah, I think okay. they may have caught that. You know what? I'm gonna. 
Sorry, that support can't be used. Can be used. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna bring Eric over because we gotta. So we, yeah, just once the button. Okay. But no, it was caught. So. We just got a word. <laughs> because it's World Cup year, that we're going to be adding uh, a quote unquote rule question time to be parallel to injury time from soccer. Don't, I don't know if that'll be required. No, not unless Sam's here. <laughs> I'm aware, still not without Sam being here. I stand by my comment. I'm talking to Eric, of course. Actually, Sam should be getting off work soon. Ooh. What do we have going on here? Any thoughts at this point, this point much? Judges make better doors than windows, as the saying goes. I know we yeah, have a camera feed, but I prefer to it just is, is a look at the mess. It's uh, going to be a pop-up. Uh, ooh, no, that's not going to hit that. Another pop-up. See so if it says. Cerise? No, we. That's not the symbol for Pharaoh. There you go. Now, now you have me on the on the bisque. I want to keep making sound jokes. <laughs> so what's the deal with PropCon? Well. One, one, the uh, funny comment for that one, Jeff, is that when you, when new clicks are revealed, people look at them and try to figure out what kind of situations would that come up with. It's like, oh, it looks usable, but how often is that going to come up? Interesting point in PropCon, this game is about dice. <laughs> Not hard to figure out when you can be able to reroll. <laughs> there, there have been teams in the past that uh, didn't require a lot of it, but there were still rolls involved. Yeah. Well, that's one thing that's great about this game. Mm -hmm. I mean... The dice is it's the great equalizer. If your dice aren't with you, I don't care how good of a team builder you are. I don't care how expensive your pieces are. I don't care how yeah. fantastic a player you. If you cannot roll, you cannot win. I'm fair. Out. You got poisoned Poison by Despotels. Yeah, when uh, Despotelis is out there. Yeah. There are some strategies around him, but... Despotelis, the one man cold. The only one coming down with it. The only one catching it. I'm wondering how long we're going to see Despotelis in the competitive scene like this. Um, I saw effort. him. I saw him. I couldn't give you a final number, but we saw him It's a interesting lot because a lot of people didn't understand how... Did, to deal with them, I'm not going to go over that because I don't want to affect things. I agree. But there, there are there are counter strategies and there are ways to do it that are very seldom used in hero clicks. Oh yeah. That should that should be more usable if you have more Swiss Army uh, knife yep. on your team. When you make more rounded, you're able to adapt to those type of things. But when you're very streamlined, you don't have access to all those things. Exactly. So I think we're going to see an awful lot of him. He's not ever going to be as potent as he currently is because people are dealing with a little bit of. And I say that, that politely and ignorance, uh, just not 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 insulting. Just they're not they're working without knowledge. 
yes. on it. Uh, but I also believe that the uh, some of the outcry from players who are still in the learning phase of Despotalis are, is probably going to prompt uh, a watch list on Despotalis. No, don't don't I, make that face off camera. Don't you dare. I'm not sure if he is aggressive enough to need to be put on the watch list. I I, uh, oh, I, faced I, I don't him. I don't, th I don't think he should I faced be. him. I, I, don't, I, I think he's he is a really good red herring because you really got to pay attention. You can't forget about him. You got to make sure you're not getting a renewal. Uh, he would be a yellow herring at best. That's true. Um, but you're either going to focus on him or the rest of the team. Yes. So it's it's a good diversion tactic for your Seriously? opponent's attendance. Attention, not attendance. There are, like we said, we're not going to discuss them, but there are some counter strategies for them that I found, and they work reasonably well. PropCon being one of those, believe it or not. Only two clicks left in the series. Or, in other words, that would be click four that she's on, which would be common knowledge, because you can see it on the dial. <laughs> but you could barely hit me. <laughs> I think one of the saving graces on Despotelis is that it can't move under its own power. And cannot have anything increased is huge too. Um, also, if they... Is it also I, I feel uh, like, replacement values? Hmm? Is it also replacement values? The only thing you can do... I, you can replace values, but... Like, so, if, for example, you gave him sidestep, that would probably work. How has common values increased? Uh, hypersonic from Wizard? From Wizard? Cerise? Huh? Shape change, Shape change is good. I thought he was pointing to the vehicle icon on his board, and he's driving away in a car. <laughs> was it five? Uh, shape shape change. change was good. First click of uh, Convary Places. So we're going to use Pulse Wave from the yellow entity, I think. Parallax. Yeah. Gifted. Yellow Given. Seems questionable. Why? So looking for a ruling on Pulse Wave with a battery. So they're checking a ruling oh. on the, if the battery, if the battery is going to affect single target or not, or if batteries can be hit, because there's lots of targets there. So Paul wave is happening. It's a roll nine. It's pretty good. So looks like Scotty's Warbot has been happily for Patricia removed. The um, robot is scrapped. Speaking of Chase Lax. Yes, Chase Lax. Uh, I think I found the perfect figure to put it on. I think we were discussing <laughs> this earlier. We, we discussed a lot, so I'm sure we did. Yes. Um, Obnoxio the Clown. What, what, <laughs> what other character has a greater ability to instill fear in people than a clown? Can't sleep. The clown's going to eat me. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the next Sinister Core team I make will have... It's, it's not going to help the theme team, but... I just think it needs to happen. Poison. So poison damage. Despotalis. Oh, 
a plus one defense. From, from the Parallax Entity. Yeah. The Big Bug. Yes. Is that what you describe him, Big Bug? Mm. Oh, he's tiny. Pa Parallax? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, yeah, sorry, sorry, I'm talking about the enemy. Oh, Des Despotel is microscopic, um, of course. Yeah, it, you know, honestly, I was looking at the sculpt. Is he a bug? Are those, did he used to be fat when he was younger? And, like, those are, like, skin flaps, maybe? Oh. I don't know. They're more on his arm. <laughs> it's a strange place to put a wing. Was But then again, I haven't been damage? winged before. Oh, yeah. He's in the Cover your place. Oh, defend. Wizard. <laughs> Is not <laughs> something covered? Is not perplexing? <laughs> oh, right. Wiz Wizard's opting not to perplex because of the uh, reminder about the battle. Yeah, and he wants to use hypersonic yeah. instead, so yeah. being only allowed to one do <laughs> one, one non free. or one free action per turn does limit things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so PropCon did fail. It was a crit hit, and that was perplexed out of it. I'm prop out of it. It's a good time to prop con. You know what? The crit hits and the crit misses make the decisions really, really easy yeah. when you have the ability to. I've sometimes wondered, I, I would hate to see it happen, but what if criticals were locked and you could not prop con them? You are a terrible individual for say, for putting that out in the world. No, I'm, I'm just imagine that. like. No, I am, and that's why I said you were a terrible individual for putting that thought out in the world. Someone's going to hear that stuff. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't say my name on the rounds. Ackbar. What is this, an insurance? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every time I see your realm's name, that's what I think. <laughs> I think of the duck. That should be your avatar. Yeah. Howard the Duck, maybe? Yeah. So uh, do, just doing some quick thinking because uh, Cerise is pretty low on, on, on the dial. Uh, with Leafon. Uh, with Despotelis right there. And we're running short on time. There's only 12 minutes. Well, there was injury time added as well. So there's, we're there's probably around 15 minutes. So we're probably, probably about 15, which is an accurate assessment. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, so one of the things we need to consider is almost any turn can be the last turn right now. The Cerise. The yeah. The Parallax on Cerise. Yeah, it's very important. So we'll see what uh, there is coming. The one thing I've seen with a lot of the Air Iron Pharaoh teams over the last couple of days, it's a lot less strategic thinking about positioning and blocking line of fire, stuff like that, but more where your attacks are going. And you mean like priority of targets? Well, yeah, it's just where does Iron Fair go? They sit in the starting area. Like normally, his most of his team is just gonna sit there. So every game, it ends up right over there in that starting area. Mm -hmm. I feel like I I have been thinking a lot about the Yu-Gi-Oh pieces lately, and I know <laughs> there's one that would be quite interesting: the morphing jar. Where when it's hit by an attack, it would it would place everyone in the opponent's starting area. I don't know how it would be ruled per se with the battery. Would it get placed? Would it not get placed? Depends on the exact wording. 
Yeah, I'd, I'd have to look that up, but... I, I wouldn't think that even though the battery is on the, the map, I wouldn't consider it a character? I wouldn't consider a character either, so I think it would stay right there with your... We, we have some time. We, yeah, the, just the judge confirming that we have two minutes that we would be adding on. So we're at 12 minutes. So yeah, so Jeff's, uh, Jeff's assessment was really good. Good note, Jeff. They don't call me Judge Jeff for nothing. That's right. Be best friend, Jeff. Uh, if you're best friends with Vince, let me tell you what he does. Oh no. He bakes cookies? I, I don't think I've ever gotten cookies. Have you, have you never got the cookies? No. no. Really? It must be my diabetes oh, yes. you're thinking about. No. It was good. It was good. Wizard is, Wizard is out. So that may be the turning point in this game. He gets the belt? He had the oh, belt, he had yes. The belt on it, yeah. yeah. But, uh, so with Wizard out, can you pull up. Um, can you pull up Parallax's dial and we'll see what she has access to at this point? Yeah, that's a good point. So I just want to do a, a quick congratulations to both of our players for A, getting to this final, B, having a great game, and, and C, congratulations yeah. to Nick. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's usually yeah. what that's that we were talking He about. does follow, and sometimes players forget to follow or yeah, choose not to we, for some We had that in our game that Des Patalis, just uh, the player who was playing against uh, Dark Phoenix Cyclops yes. got to carry along. Yes. So I uh, just want to do a, uh, a, a quick uh, uh, goodbye in just a moment. Uh, but I just want to let you know that the last three dials that we have to share with you are going to be going up. Simon Pat's going to put that up. Oh, and, uh, I'm so excited for that one. <laughs> Is the last two? Yep. So uh, now that we can freely talk about the game in regular voices, okay, uh, Jeff, what do you think? Uh, I it was a good, uh, good uh, matchup. I yeah, there was a, it was good. To, it was fun because it was a really fast team against a team designed to be able to shoot you before you can get there. Yeah. Additionally, there was no team bases, which already endeared them to me. Not because team bases are bad or anything, like that, or don't like them, but they just don't make for good commentary. I, I don't think. No. Uh, team bases definitely do kind of eliminate the fun to the game. Not fun. No, I'm not going to say that. Sorry, that was a poor choice of words. It, um, it's stylistically the, not... The excitement and sh there's a lot less uh, again, like with deployment. Yeah. Um, as we've seen though with New Mutants this weekend, um, there is a lot of characters jumping off right away to help with that. Um, sometimes being a downfall to some players, a real benefit to others because they're getting so many more points off that. Um, but there's a lot less strategic maneuvering. And I'm not a big fan of team bases for, especially for casual play. Right. In the sense that you do just get just that. It's who's going to hit first. Yeah. Um, the watch list helped. Uh, Green Lantern batteries and White Witches. We're seeing we're seeing mechanics that will hurt them uh, yeah. or make them less effective. Uh, I've always imagined a, a Scarlet Witch figure uh, from Disassembled that could potentially just dismantle team bases would be kind of fun, so whoever wins the Worlds maybe, you know, whatever. Um, but this game, yeah, it's, it's good. Um, Wizard is obviously high speed, so getting across the map in that time where Iron Pharaoh didn't have a chance to pick him off too much before he got there was a really good, a, a good team up and they were really working against each other's yep. strategies. So. And also Iron Pharaoh staying in the middle, in their starting area, Wizard had that much further to go. That's right. Made him run for his money. He ran harder for his money. <laughs> well, he wants to treat him right. <laughs> That's right. So I uh, just want to do a quick thank you to uh, all the all the uh, all the judges, all the volunteers who helped out tonight, uh, this week at uh, Card Magica Ottawa, Ontario. For making this uh, what seemed to be a, a, a really good event, everyone seemed to have uh, been really happy with it. The turnout was fantastic. I want to thank all the players who showed up. I want to thank Card Magica specifically, Alex individually, 
for uh, for bringing this to us and uh, putting on a great thing. I want to share all of our commentators. I want to uh, thank uh, my co-hosts. I want to thank uh, Richie. I want to thank Pat. I want to thank. There's five minutes. Clock. <laughs> I um, I want to thank Terry who subbed in last night. I want to thank uh, my my best friend ever, Jeff, who was totally not mad at me about uh, a trade that he's uh, kind of hitting about. Can I just can I just put in the Vince? Oh, okay, and we're gonna Hail Hydra. Hail Hydra. We're your gonna, name we're is gonna get oh, 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 oh. Just saying. <laughs> Trader Armor. Yep. So we're just gonna get the uh, the pl the players to come over in a second to talk to us. But until that time, uh, Jeff, uh, would you like to say anything disparaging about me? Anything um, like no, I can't say an evil glare. Just, I, I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. You know what? This is the first time I've had you on air. This is the first time I get I get to congratulate you for because we announced earlier that you and Megan uh, are are getting a new addition to your family. Yep. Uh, we, we got the permission to go live with that yes, yesterday. Yes, yeah, we did. Uh, I got a text message earlier in the day. Also, Megan uh, said there wasn't enough baby talk and she was going to tune out. Yeah, so um, I got a text message just saying that, yeah, so I'm pregnant. Which is always good. Oh, wait, you just found out too? No, I found out yesterday, yeah. Okay. Literally yesterday morning, oh. I got a text message I, from I, my wife saying, I think I'm pregnant. Wait, how long has it been? A couple weeks. Oh, okay. So it's it's pretty early. Oh, okay. I misunderstood. I thought you had been sitting on this whole time. No, no. I, I literally, like, I, like, didn't, I sat on it months. for about an hour. You don't do the three yeah, month wait. No, it's it's fine. It's because we're so close. You want we it. You want and to then, the and then you gate guardian me. that entire. Don't don't let it. Thing. If we were really friends, you wouldn't let one little gate guardian that that's helping your friend get a zombie stand in the way. <laughs> Maybe it can get him a zombie juggernaut. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I, I think that might be a call for you, Jeff. Okay, so I need to head to my judging duties. It's been lovely uh, broadcasting, and hopefully we see everyone next year, and it's an even bigger and better event. It was really a great weekend. Oh, thank you so much. So I, uh, I think I'm going to be talking by myself for just a moment. I'm just going to see if I can rope someone into sitting in, and service says... Die came up, Terry. Oh, Die's always come up, Terry. Die came up, comments, Terry. Oh, sad, so second, sad. Second use of the joke. It was so good. Hail Hydra. Oh, 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 oh. Hail Hydra. <laughs> That's a biting commentary by Jeff. He showed me the opposite side of his Hydra dice. Oh. So it was a critical miss. So, uh, Terry, uh, how, how was your week? Did you get a chance to play in many of the Battle Royals? Uh, I played in about Weekend. four of them. I played in about four of the Battle Royale. And the success rate is? Uh, typical Terry. Oh, missed by one. A lot That's of missed so by one. Very frustrating. So but I, I got some I got some stuff. I filled some holes in my collection. So yep. that's that's what you want. Well, if you're not going to win, you might as well complete a collection. Wh which ones did you end up playing in? Did you end up playing in? I played in the Seals yesterday. Okay. And um, I was a uh, one win, two losses. So right. Overall, uh, but I had a great weekend. It was a uh, awesome weekend here at the uh, Card of Magic in Ottawa. Yeah, uh, they they. <laughs> It was, it, it's a really nice venue. Like I've said before, it's it's new to new to our area in the grand scheme of things. Yes. Uh, since the beginning of the playoffs is my is my time stamp for it. That's when I started uh, started coming here. Uh, so it's, it was really nice and obviously endearing itself to its player base by being able to bring in an event like this for us and for the areas around us. Yes. Yeah. We. Uh, um, it's it's actually it's right up there with my my favorite shops in town, and that's all kinds of shops. That's, I like this more than the grocery store. I spend more money here than I do at the grocery store. Do you really? Well, my wife buys the groceries. So. Does your wife know this as yes. a statistical fact? Yes. Yes. So it just says they're announcing the top eight. Uh, is there anything else you want to share? Is, do you have any funny stories for today? Sorry? Today, no. Actually, I, I ended up buying a new phone this weekend. Well, that's right, you, the new phone story. I have a, I have a new phone. Yeah. Just, just handing out uh, yeah. some prizes right now. Yeah. I bought a new phone, and already my phone is auto-correcting clicks. <laughs> in, in under 24 hours. That shows you what kind of weekend we've been having. So we uh, finding out that uh, the new phone may become the old phone real quick. Oh yes, <laughs> it, it already knows my life. In second place, Patricia. Just hand out some winners. 
Nick and Patricia being, of course, the one two from our game currently. Yes. In fourth place, Mr. Conrad. Oh, and the game is over. <laughs> so I, I'm a little fast, right? But were you able to get a hold of any of the car exclusives? Did you Did you pick up any? Of um, I, I was able to to get what I wanted this weekend. So that's all. Uh, Which was? Are you care to share? Um, or wait, is your wife gonna listen to this? Oh no, no. She, okay. I doubt. I doubt it. But no, no, no. <laughs> um, Not even if I asked. I was able to get uh, the Resurrection Man and the Impossible Man. Oh, nice. Yeah. I, I thought about the, the bigs. I thought about the uh, Zombie Galactus and the uh, Black Lantern audio mo any monitor, but you have to not. You have to realize that you only have so much space, and if I'm gonna, <laughs> will I play them? So what you suggest? Whoa! Duke, Duke finishing seven. Gotta like it. Modern. Gotta like it. <laughs> All right. So top eight, top eight has been announced. It'll be on. It'll be on the uh, the Wizkid site. Yeah, I think the uh, teams are going to be listed up later. And the uh, so every, everyone marvel at who finished number seven and what what it took to play that team. Uh, Good job organizing, guys. Thank you. The, the players just thanking the venue. Yes, I think. Um, I, I, I think what uh, I think we're shutting down now, though. Uh, apparently, I'm doing interview. Oh, interview! Too. Awesome. That's that's why I came here for kill time. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> um, I wonder how many people are running down to Cartamagica <laughs> right now. If if you're in town, why don't you come? We are doing the ten. The ten dollar battle royals. You come is very nice. It's very nice. Uh, <laughs> we're getting the uh, the two the two people are they doing games? Oh, okay, because we're waiting for the interview. Apparently, I I'm told there were interviews. What's that? I was told there was going to be interviews. Okay. So we're, we're trying to keep the uh, pie. alive. Punch and pie. Isn't it cake? Is there supposed to be cake? Actually, you don't, you don't mind? Well, what, why, don't we, why don't we bring Patricia over first? For, okay. Yes, so we'll, I'm, we'll I'm going to step Jerry. out. Vince, yeah. always a pleasure. Thank you so much, Jerry. Live? Yep, we're live. So, uh, hi, Patricia. You want to introduce yourself really quick? I'm Patricia, and I just lost. Well, you know what? <laughs> uh, I saw I saw a couple of your games today, and you did fantastic. Despite the the final result not being exactly what you want, I, I think you had a really good week. How did you? Obviously, it's it's a little a little different after having a game like that. Say, so how'd you do? That's a ridiculous question. So I'm not going to ask you that. But prior to this game and overall the weekend, how how were you? How was your uh, your visit? It was really nice. It was really, the, nice. It was really ni well organized here. The judges are super nice. You know, things ran smoothly. And <laughs> we, we, we tried really hard. Uh, well, they they tried really hard. I'm just kind of here. Uh, yeah, so yeah, overall pretty positive experience here. So I'm trying to ask the the, the, the questions, because I've been in this position where I've lost in the final and I hate it when people ask me stupid questions. <laughs> question. There's no stupid questions. <laughs> and I won't finish that line. But when, when you were looking at the team, was this one of the teams that you thought that might give Iron Pharaoh issues? Obviously, your team is very strong mm -hmm. and, and does very, very well, obviously. Yep. Uh, is this one of the one of the things that you, uh, you, that you had seen before in playtesting, maybe? Um, I've actually seen Nick play that team before. Okay. He used it at Nationals. There you go. At Origins. <laughs> yeah. So I knew how the team worked and what I needed to do to counter it. Okay. But then, as I was playing, I realized some mistakes that were made during the game and the beginning opening move that Nick actually made <laughs> was illegal because he took too many free actions. Yeah. So... You know, when when you're in the heat of the moment, you really do forget these things. Oh yeah, no. A lot of people when they when they look at net, when they look at teams, like, oh, I could beat that, but they don't understand that it is, it's not that one game you have to win. Mm -hmm. It's this is round five. Yeah. After a weekend of playing, and and every time you go up that ladder uh, in the bra in Bracketville, as it were, yeah. That it's that there's it's so mentally many. Mentally taxing. Yeah. It is. It is really tiring after after the event to be able to even function at sixty percent of your playing capacity in the finals is a really, really good accomplishment, I, I would say. 
Mm. So, uh, other than that, I, I thought you played really well, Patricia. Oh, thank you. No problem. Did you, did you end up playing in the... How did you qualify? Was it in the Constructed or the Seals? with the same team in Constructed. Oh, there you go. Did, did you play the Seals too, or...? I played a Sealed at the end, and, and I it, played... How'd it go? I went 3-0 with a 300-point dark side. So what you're saying is you're awesome. I tried to be. That was my first loss. Oh, that's right. You were the dark side team. Yes. That's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. All my games are starting to blend together now. <laughs> this is my... Way too many games. Yes. Good, but uh, yeah, so you know what? Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for being a part of this. Thank you so much for talking to me. Oh, you're welcome. And uh, congratulations, and uh, I hope you uh, have uh, just as much luck, maybe slightly altered at the end, <laughs> in the next time. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Can I give a shout out to. You absolutely can. You, you have more than earned the effort to shout out whatever you like. Okay, so I want to thank, first of all, Rob Bearsall from Vancouver. Mm -hmm. So he basically helped me make my team and play test for me. So he's been really great here at Cooks Coach over the last few years. Nice. And Team Rubicon from the States. We did a little play testing last week. Cool, cool. So yeah, I, uh, I've, I've only gone to one con, uh, Wizard of LA, but uh, there was a huge contingent from Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And the BC, the BC kids had uh, come down, so I met uh, and I found out that we had a really, really active uh, BC uh, Hero Clicks group there. Yeah. So with any luck, if it's uh, if this uh, event is a success, uh, maybe they'll bring nationals to Vancouver. I, I would hope. <laughs> that, um, well, I'd like to have it back here because uh, I, I'm, I, I'm greedy. But I would really like it to be expanded so that we can have one near the West Coast. Mm -hmm. The Hero Clicks community back here is excellent. Yes, they, they would eat. Thank they you would, to everyone they there. would literally eat that up. Mm -hmm. Yes. A anything else you'd like to say? No, that's it. Okay, thank you so much, so much. Okay. So I think we're just going to have Nick in a moment as soon as I uh, get attention and people stop taking pictures of his clicks. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's just point. It was just pointing out a scandalous, scandalous comment. Which one? That you were an American and you won. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> it's, totally, it's totally good. We're not allowed to be mean. Apparently, it's in our it's in our culture. So uh, obviously, congratulations, Nick. Thank you very much. Uh, I thought your team was really, really cool when I first saw it. I thought it was interesting. At first, I thought it was just because I didn't want to see another team base mm -hmm. because those aren't good for commentary purposes, and your team had lots to, to it, talk it's about. It's a moving team. It does a lot of but, stuff. But uh, as we talked about earlier, because uh, obviously we've seen a couple of your games today, uh, the the ability to to do what the, it can do is is fantastic. Yeah. So how are you feeling about your game? You've already been playing this team a little bit. Have you tinkered it around with it a little bit near and there, or has it been fairly constant? It was fairly constant. Uh, the new addition from Nationals in America was uh, Enchantress retired, so yep. I had to replace her. But you have the fantastic entities and then Despotellus that does so much that it yep. was an easy fit in. Awesome. So uh, when the start of the game, have, have you, uh, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to ask silly questions like, oh, have you ever faced Iron Pharaoh? Because, of course, you faced Iron Pharaoh. Yeah. Is this one of the teams that you had in mind when you built this one, um, was to be able to rush them? Yes. In the earlier stages, before retirement, there was a lot of Iron Pharaoh barrier teams. So I wanted a team that can get across the board and get to it. Yeah. And that's how I came up with this one. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if I have an entire uh, follow -up. So, how was your weekend? It was a fantastic weekend. I mean, obviously, it ended on a high note, so yeah, that, it was that good all around. It can't be all bad, yeah? Even if it's just one, it was still fantastic. Yeah. Uh, did you end up qualifying with this team in the in the constructed, or yes. did you go through I, the I seals? just came with this, and this is what I ran. Oh, nice. Did you play in both the morning and the afternoon? or? Uh, I played in the morning one. Played in the morning ones? Yeah. And did you, play, you end up uh, playing any sealed or any uh, I played in sealed, and I bombed out terribly on camera. So. Oh, no. <laughs> I went 0-3 in the sealed playing around. So. <laughs> well, well I, obviously it worked out in the end. Uh, anything you'd like to say to anyone? Um, no, just thanks any, to the Any venue. friends pay testing? Uh, we have a good group at home. It's uh, Tim, Pappy, and Derek. And awesome. They couldn't make it. One got married this weekend. Uh, it's the end of his life now. And the other one was in a wedding or something like it. And the other one was at home with his family. So. Well, fair enough. Well, congratulations, Nick. Thank you so much for coming and uh, giving us a good game. And uh, congratulations on the win. Thank you very much. Take care. So uh, I think that's going to be it for us for now. I uh, can't get the signal if I'm signaling off. So hi. I'm going to do it anyway, I think. Oh, no, wait, Richie. Hi. I just came to say hi. J just then. And then there was Richie. <gasps> Along came a Richie. Um, so uh, just uh, just as I'm waiting for the confirmation on whether or not I can get my chain on, my leg unchained from the table, I think you're a permanent fixture here now. I, no, no, 
No? Wait, that, that actually fits with a lot of the information I found out this week. <laughs> All right. So we're going to say a final goodbye uh, from Carta Magica here in Ottawa, Ontario. Just want to say thank you to everyone for helping out and making this, uh, this such a great event. I want to thank... The judges. The judges. Volunteers. The volunteers. Alex. Alex himself. In particular, all the staff at Carta, all the volunteers. The players, without them, we couldn't have had exactly. the amount of enthusiasm that we had. Uh, I want to thank them so much for playing for our featured matches. I know a lot of them have never done that before. So it can be a little daunting. It added a little camera. extra level of stress, I think. Yeah, our local players had got, uh, they had been so generous with the time letting us practice on how to do it. Yeah. So they were a little different, but it, we had a couple of players this week before the event that had never done it before. So they were, so we constantly saw how new players were adjusting to it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we should have some details, I think, on Monday on when we're going to be doing the next, uh, next live stream. streams yeah. because, and I, because of the positive uh, effect that we've had. And of course, these are going to go up on uh, Twitch as well, these matches. once you know. Twitch and YouTube, I believe. Okay. I, and I uh, want to say uh, an extra sh shout out to, to Whiskey is not only for letting us have the Canadian Nationals up here, not only for being generous with the prize support, not only for letting us have this great event, but thank you so much for sharing the previews for us. That was an uh, added bonus. Uh, that, that, it's so nice, and now that, now that I've, we've shared them all, <laughs> I believe the last three have already gone up, which uh, I don't have the list in front of me, but it should be uh, the chase that I shall not name, a Magneto chase, and, you know, I can't work I can't up. remember I, the other I one either. I list. It, it, someone took my paper with them. My paper, I am absolutely You're useless. Lost. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> I'm still pretty sacked. <laughs> That's true. Um, but yeah, so I want to say a quick, uh, an extra thank you to WizKids for letting us do this, uh, for being able to put this up. I uh, want to say uh, that I hope everyone who watched the stream or caught the previews was able to enjoy and, and, and have that information. Now, should we play them out with um, Hooked on a Feeling one more time? Uh, sure. Because I know that everyone loved that so much. Yeah, we're we're gonna go out with uh, with previous. So I think it might be the slides of the last ones that I can't remember right now. All right. So thank you so much, guys, and uh, we will talk to you later. See you I'm soon. signing off. Vince is Trader Martyr, Armor, and, and Richie Superhound. Yep. <laughs> What you do to me When you hold me